What's up guys, Kenske from KenskeArt.com, illustrator and author of Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies. Today we're going to learn how to create a mask in Clip Studio Paint and start exploring some of the ways how you can make the most of it in your artwork. So in the midst of this pandemic, wearing a mask is crucial towards saving lives. Well, learning how to incorporate the mask in Clip Studio Paint won't save lives, but it will save your time spent on making revisions in your artwork. Now, if you've used Photoshop in the past, you've probably used the mask tool. And the good news is, is that Clip Studio Paint uses the same approach, but it makes it even easier and more powerful to use. I use it all the time when making edits and revisions in my artwork, and you can make those adjustments and tweaks without deleting or trashing your original version. I have a drawing of a, a girl with a cat ears on. And uh, as you see, I have a simple tone on the face and a dark background. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use masks on several of these different layers that you see on the right right here and see if I can enhance and give it a little bit more effect. Uh, and you'll see here I have the background, um, the line art, and the screen tones. So I'm going to take my mask tool, which you can find right up here. It's a little thing that looks like an Instagram kind of mark, but it's not. <laughs> you can click that and immediately you'll get this little uh, panel on the right. And this is basically uh, tells you that a mask has been applied. So I'm going to click on that, get my brush that I want to use to create a, my favorite effect. And make sure that this is always selected. You don't want to. You want to make sure that the uh, the mask is the one that we're applying on. And as I go around, you tell I'm, I can get depending on the pressure that I'm applying on my Wacom tablet. I can get this kind of cool effect. Sorry about the background. Looks like there's sirens. Yeah, that's what you get when you live in the city. Yeah, that's really cool. And let's say if I wanted to cover it back up, and now this is where it really gets really cool with masking. So if I could go here, click on the uh, uh, the, the 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 black uh, color palette, and I can go ahead and cover it up. the same texture. That information is never lost. You can go back here. And it's just not uh, line artwork. Uh, you can also play with textures. Uh, I'll take this, the uh, tone scraping tool that, that I really like to use. And kind of create this little Firefly kind of effect. Really cool, really simple. If I don't like it, I can go ahead and click the the uh, the black palette and simply cover over it. Muting it down with that uh, the running color spray. So texture on top of texture on top of texture. Uh, a, a good way of thinking of it is like masking uh, using. Um, it's like you're using a masking. I'm sorry, using a special brush to mask over a different effect. It is so cool and a, a lot of fun to use too. And I can also play with the, the line art. So here I have the line art. And let me zoom in. And let's say, for example, I get email from a client saying, you know what? Um, I don't like those bangs out there. Could you please get rid of them? I'm not quite sure why. I might ask you to 
to put it back in later, you can say short, create a mask tool right here. Again, make sure this white icon is, is selected. Take my lasso tool and here in clear and boom, you're gone. Now it's not deleted. That's the great part. I can go ahead and fill it with black. Let's say if he comes back in and says, you know, put it back in. Boom. It's back. It never left. It was just maxed behind this layer right here. Super easy, super cool. This is what will really, really cook your noodles, guys. Mask the screen tone. Now, traditionally, uh, it used to be that you would use a knife tool, a sharp knife tool to scrape off those screen tones, which were uh, thin and clear sheets of acetate uh, that you would put on paper. And you had to do it just the right way, just the right technique to get some kind of hatching, cool hatching effect. Um, and that thing took hours. And imagine what would happen if by mistake, God forbid, if it tore and you had to redo the whole thing over again. It, that, that, would, that, that would have made me really, really upset. But look at this. All you gotta do is, um, oh, make sure it's selected, screen tone. Oh, that's right, I had to make sure, that's another thing. Make sure that the clear thing is selected. Okay, this is the race. The dark, uh, this is the race. Um, I'm sorry, this is the masking, this is unmasking. And I can go ahead and erase or scrape away, if you will. And all those cool effects you can do scraping away the screen tone. I mean, those of you who grew up with a Clip Studio and using the ma uh, the uh, the masking tool for this purposes, uh, yeah, you guys don't realize how lucky you are to have <laughs> Clip Studio Paint as as your uh, your tool. It is unbelievably amazing. It's so simple to use. Add some of the heights, even the rim lighting's the catch like this. Add a little effect. You can find shapes. Or you can lose them if you want. And this is what I love about this. I can switch to my airbrush tool. And remember how I was showing you how to use textures? Let's say if I want to create a little soft effect to it, gradation. How cool is that? And if I grade it too much, I simply click the, uh, the, the black button and restore it. No, fat, no fuss, no mu eh, no fuss, no muss. <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> I get things. So. No fuss, no muss. I think that's right. Hey guys. Let me know in the comments below if I got it wrong. <laughs> anyway. um, highlights in the eyes. Again, I'm going to select, let's say, a sharp tool. Find those highlights. Give her a little bit more chin there. And already you can see how the effects can be embellished. So what I want to do here, let me clear up that collarbone there. Has some scraping there. Get some textures. So incredibly easy. Um, again, it's the same concept like Photoshop, but man, the tools that they give you to 
work out with from straight out from the box is is so far superior. I think I may have deleted too much here. Let me go ahead and add back. There you go. Okay. And last but not least, the line artwork. Let's say uh, I wanted to add some definition to these ears. Um, I'm going to turn on my uh, symmetry tool. And if you guys haven't don't know how to use a symmetry tool, uh, I did a, I did a um, I think I did a tutorial on that. You can look on look on my page. Oh, what happened? It's supposed to do a symmetry effect. Hello going on here. Huh. I don't know what happened. Let me see. Did I have to do the other side? No. Let's see what happened here. Huh. Well I'm gonna to have to look into that. I don't know why it's not doing a symmetrical effect symmetrical effect. Give it a little bit of a texture. Now again, it's not. I'm not erasing the outline. Uh, it's just simply being masked. So later, on, if I go ahead and say I, uh, oops, sorry, say if I wanted to uh, erase some of it. Oh, you know what I did? I uh, always make sure you're clicked on the mask tool. I don't think I did that. So, say for example, like that, if I had drawings like that, go back and get rid of those effects and it'll still be there. All the information is still there. Um, that also includes the eyes or the face features. So let's say for example, you know, if I raise the eyes, Simply click this and I get it back again. There you go. Uh, a great way to use mask on uh, creating cool backgrounds, uh, textures, and correcting your line artwork. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, leave your comments and questions below in the comment section. Also, if you guys have anything that you'll like for me to cover in the future regarding Clip Studio Pain, how I work, about freelancing, uh, I'd love to uh, cover that as well. So leave those things down in the comment section as well. Till then, in Christ, peace. Bye. Hey guys, be sure to check out my recent graphic novel, The Foreigner Book 1 of 2, now on sale on my website, kenskeart.com. Also follow my Instagram at kenskeart for work updates before they hit my website.